Day four, early morning. Available supplies have dwindled. The dead have grown in number. Bum bum bow. G'day, g'day, and welcome back to the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Now, because I'm an idiot and I forgot to grab the microphone that was essential, I had to go back and grab it in my spare time, so I just got it then. I also managed to pick up this bad boy from the safe. Uh, the lady in the last episode generously donated the code, so I was able to get in. That's it, nothing left to do but to plug this mic in and see what sort of reception we can get here. Okay, lovely. Uh, I guess I'd turn it on, right? Channel 61, was it? Or 63? I think it was... Was it 63? Where's that little... Little doozy? Not that. This one. Uh, reserve... Code words. Here we go. Uh, what do we got? New Orleans, 61. It was 61. Forgive me. Let's get some signal up in here. Oh, come on. Three bars is plenty. There we go. All right. Who's there? Oh! Okay, who's there? Waterfall. Waterfall. What'd you just say? Oh my god, the bobblehead's talking. Waterfall. Waterfall. I said waterfall. Are you hard of hearing? <laughs> I said waterfall. That's not possible. Who is this? You don't need to know that right now. I'm a waterfall enthusiast. Good answer, Walking Dead. Just someone who enjoys waterfalls. Horsetail, punch bowl, cascade. Big fan of all varieties. And that's supposed to be funny? I'm not laughing. You alone? I'm not gonna tell you that. Why does that matter? I'm asking the questions. Are you alone? Do not lie. I will find out, and then this conversation's over. <laughs> no, there's a bobblehead here in front of me. I guess that's that counts, right? Someone else is here. Weird little guy. Staring me down. Doesn't blink at all, and he's got this twisted grin plastered on his filthy face. Tell me what he looks like. <laughs> he's in a really weird outfit, yeah. He No. I wouldn't call that a weird outfit. He definitely has a big head though. He has a really big head. Not sure how his neck holds it up. Slightest move and his head starts bobbling and keeps bobbling. Shut up, smartass. You're fucking with me, and I don't appreciate it. If you're straight with me, our conversation continues. And believe me, I'm someone you want on your side. I I know things. Things you're not going to get from any other source. I, I, I need to know, though, that you're above board. We, we both want answers. But come on. Come first. Okay. Spit it out. I believe you're alone. And I'm pretty sure I know who you are. What I'm most curious about is how you found this station and why you said waterfall. Who am I? Yeah. Let's see if he knows. You think you know who I am? All right. Tell me. Okay, fine. I'll play along. I suspect you're the one I'm hearing all the radio chatter about. The drifter? The one they call the tourist? Spot on, actually, but you're way off. Who the fuck is the tourist? Yeah, whatever. You're not fooling anybody, tourist. You gotta keep him Drop guessing. The act. Now let's get back to Waterfall. It came to me in a dream. It came to me in a dream, okay? What difference does it make? Fact is, I know the frequency. I know the password. You're right. Fuck it. It, it, it doesn't matter. But one thing does. Does anyone else know about it? Probably. Yes. An old timer named Henri. He's dead. No clue about anyone else. Fuck. Okay. Ah, shit. Sorry. Uh. Okay. I got what I need for now. I know you're telling the truth. Just remember, I've got ears everywhere. I hear it all from every angle. Okay. Nothing gets past me. You're paranoid. You are paranoid. I get it. You're paranoid with really big supersonic ears. 
A great combination. <laughs> I'm cautious and I'm resourceful. Don't forget it. Your turn. Keep it brief. I, I got shit to do. Alright. What's this about the reserve? The reserve. What do you know about it? I've heard of it. Okay. Oh, he's playing dumb now too. Is that all? Everyone's heard of it. You'd have to live in a hole in the ground not to. I'm interested in more than that. Yeah, well, how would I know more than anyone else? You bragged ears everywhere. Yep, pretty much caught out. You mentioned your ears were everywhere. You heard of me before I even set foot in Nola. Seems like someone so informed would know a bit more than the average schmuck when it comes to the thing everyone is talking about, right? Not necessarily. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Not too friendly, are we? All right, I'll drop it for now. Have you got a name? You know what to call me, but I don't know what to call you. You got a name? Yeah. It's Casey. Casey? <laughs> was that so hard? That wasn't hard, was it? Where you from? Not here. When I got assigned, I was happy though. It was my first choice. <laughs> Fuck. Never mind. Oh, oh. Something wrong, Casey? No. Yeah. Shit, no. I'm done talking about me. Yeah, I'm done talking about you as well. I came to Nola to meet up with an old timer named Henri. Speaking to you through his radio, he wound up dead, along with a bunch of other folks. But look, I don't know anything about a dead old man. What's happened to my hand? Sorry, Casey. What about the others? What about the people who killed him? Or why he was hung upside down like a slaughterhouse cow? Know anything about them? They seem interested in tracking you down, too. I'm telling you, I don't know anything about what's going on up there. There's no reason to track me down. Yeah, okay, there are reasons. Henri was onto something. That was clear. And it must have been clear to the fuckers that killed him, too. You're in the reserve, aren't you? I've been straight with you, so why not be straight with me? Maybe we can help each other. Cut the bullshit and tell me why Henri was so desperate to contact you. I told you already. I, I don't know anything about anything. Oh! What the fuck was that? They coming for you? Shit. Yeah, I gotta go. That's There's weird. something going on over here. Hold on just a minute. Fuck, shit. No, wait, no, wait. No, no. So this ends now. Right fucking now. Okay. Good chat. Casey, you're a bit shady. I reckon that guy knows more than he's letting on. Oh. Well, it's pretty worn, this gun. Hasn't got too many shots left out of her. Alright, let's go see what that was. I'm gonna axe it. Right. What was that? Ooh. Nice drawings everywhere. There's an open crypt somewhere. Okay. Who's there? What's this? Drawings hit at the location of quest items. All right, that glowing patch to the right of that very, very nice archway. Okay, we've got a spiked fence near it too, and a truck. All right, should be fine. Do I have a key? Oh, that might be Maybe that's where I find the key, in that drawing. Very cryptic, I like it. Let's go. Well, this opened up, so... Let's head... Ooh! Is this the open crypt that was in the picture? Uh, I'm gonna get my shiv on my right. Let's go in. Ugh. Ugh, it's all musty. Yuck. Be warned. Oh, that looks pretty clear. Oh my goodness me. Hello, Mother Mary. How are you? Oh, oh shit, son. All right, let's go. Come on. I wonder if I can knife this one while I hold this. 
Yep. Alright, hold still. There you go. Two for one. Crikey. Good catching up with you, Mary. I'll see you on my way back, I'm sure. Don't know what to call you, Pigeon Man. It's Pigeon Boy. Nice. Okay, this is a little bit creepy. Oh, whoa, that is awesome. All right. St. Vincent Ferrer, Roman Catholic Church, born 1350 in Valencia, Aragon. Arag I'm not even. No, that's it. That's enough reading for one day. Dead man in a coffin here. Hello? Don't stand up. Don't stand up and bump your head. Looks like this place has been turned upside down. Why is my torch going out now? I don't need this. Who's there? Oh, I hear, I hear footsteps. I hear sloshing. Oh, there's two. All right, let's see if we can stealth this back one. Go to sleep now. I think it saw me. Come on, keep walking. Keep walking. Good zombie. here. Who else saw that? Oh, really? From over there? Oh, this is not going well. Kitchen knife? Oh, it is too. Good morning. Hold still. I, I don't want to hit my fingers again. Ugh. Twisted my arm up nicely. Alright, looks like we're going to have to axe it from here. That is a spiked fence. There's the truck. What do we got here? Little little noisemaker. Explosive egg timer. Whoop, wrong shoulder. That's gonna come in here. Oh, why is it full? Oh, I didn't save everything I scrapped. Okay, let's get rid of this. I might just put this where I can find it later. You know what? We'll carry it. Oh, I thought there was people with guns over there. Ah, this looks familiar. Cheeky little archway, very fancy. Oh, there's a key just lying on the ground. All right, that's what I need. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's telling me I can get through that door now, I think. And there's a safe here too. Okay, good to know. Oh, I've been spotted. Action time! Pretty quiet for a big space. Good morning! Oh my god! You're a tough one. You get a neck puncture. Oh! Faced him. Alright, let's go see what was through that door. Back through the creepy crypt. <sighs> Everyone good? There's a clue here. Alright. This will automatically read something out when I pick it up, so... I'm gonna have to be quiet for a second here. Maybe Noir is a traitor. Maybe Noir is a liar and a thief. She will say and do anything to further her own selfish agenda. Do not be fooled. She will not help you. She will corrupt you. I considered her family. Treated her as if she were my own flesh and blood. 
Yet she did not hesitate to betray me. She tried to turn my dearest and most loyal friends against me. Oh, her treachery knows no bounds. She is desperate and will do the same to you. Do not be fooled. Maybe Noir is a menace. She should be shunned. If you assist her in any way, you will leave us no choice but to consider you an enemy of the tower. We do not wish this. Do not force our hand. The tower will always stand. Mama. That lady was spitting venom against May Benoit. Okay. So if I assist a lady called May, they, whoever that was, is going to consider me an enemy. Interesting. I can see a way in here. Oh! Clues? So, looks, there's an arrow pointing to a little fountain next to a mansion with the tower. There's a flag on it. Alright. To the left of the front door by the looks of that. Cool. What do we got here? Another note. I'm sorry about this guys, but if you want to listen to the story, listen to this note. If not, maybe skip ahead a few seconds. Henri, I found two more exiles wandering around the northwest corridor today. Was able to get them to safety, get them supplies for a few days. They said it's getting ruthless on the other side of the tower wall. More people exiled every week. We are making a difference out here. But if this pace keeps up, I just don't know. We're going to need more help. More intel to stay one step ahead of the bastards. The mud-slinging posters with my face plastered on them are not helping the situation. Ambra rips them down whenever she sees one, but they are everywhere. As I'm sure you've noticed. I know you want to simplify our system for the tower cash raids, but I need to keep to the shadows. The Sinclair casket and the lantern is working, so we might as well stick with it. Lantern on when there's something for you, off when there's something for me. This way, I can keep my distance. See what's up until I it's clear. As usual, our resident Picasso has provided a sketch to guide you to the next power cache. I know I'm biased, but it's got ability, right? Maybe you can sit for a portrait one day. Umbra would love that. Same deal with the cache. Supplies are yours. The intel you drop off to me. Be safe. May. Okay, so May pretty much just said that she's gonna drop intel into that grave where I just picked up the last batch. She'll put the lantern on when there's something in it for me. And then whatever I retrieve, I put back in there and she'll find out somehow. Her daughter, it seems like, has been drawing all these really good pictures. Uh, and that's about it, I think, from the sounds of that. So I'm just gonna scrap this stuff. Then we're ready to get crafting. Gonna get some new gear on the line. Uh, I'm gonna keep this handy at the moment. There's not enough walkers around to warrant taking that yet. Uh, I've got... Yeah, I'm gonna keep that as a spare, just in case. I've got a snack, bandage, one little box of meds. That's worn as hell. I might even just scrap that. In you go. Uh, dirty bandage that I can use right now. Actually, I'll use the meds too. That should get my health back to full. Meds. Nice. Now I can bandage all the way back to full health. Hmm, <sighs> that's better. Okay, I need, I need some supplies. Quick smart. Let's go see what I can craft now. Now that I've got some materials, it might be worth upgrading one of these benches here. That needs wood scraps. What's this, firearm station? Yep, let's get this going. Nice, I can craft a revolver if I need. I can also craft the ammo. That needs more gunpowder. All right, fair enough. And I can level this up again with more nuts and bolts. Okay, I can, ooh! I can craft a 45 revolver. That plan was in the safe in the blue mansion. Can I craft the ammo? Yes, I can. Okay. 
I need a shiv of all things. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. I don't think I have another one here. That's my gun. Yep. So I'll craft a shiv. I'm going to hold off on the rest of the stuff for now. I should be right with just one of these. Uh, let's build one. Nice, shiny new shiv. Beautiful. Alright. So I need to go to that area that I saw in the drawing with that... With that mansion that had the tower flag on it. Intel location. Via Corolla. Nice, we're heading to a new spot. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I know it was a little bit slow. That was a lot of story going on. So apologies for that. But in the next one, we're heading out to Via Corolla to try and find that weapons cache or supplies. Whatever it was. Got my trusty shiv and my gun. What could go wrong? Thank you so much. Be good to each other. I'll see you tomorrow. This episode's wildlife and risky shout out goes to Mad Main, Zach Cooper, and Ufa TV. Bloody legends.